So Hershey Park just announced this past week that they are bringing their new Dark Nights to Hershey Park in the Dark, which is going to bring four new uh, haunted mazes and then three scare zones. So we're gonna go around the park today and check out these new areas. So here we are by Trailblazer, and this is actually going to be one of the very first haunt mazes, which is over here by Trailblazer Catering. Catering. It's going to be the haunted coal mine. It's going to be themed to miners coming out and haunting the living. Um, it doesn't look like they've gotten started on it, but yeah. Um, and this entire area uh, where Storm Runner, Great Bear, uh, the Hershey um, Triple Tower, Hershey's Kissing Tower, the uh, Kissing Tower Hill area, and the Trailblazer um, Pioneer Frontier area is going to be what is called the Valley of Fear. So it looks like here in this alley that's going to be called the Valley of Fear, there's going to be some scare actors in here. Well, obviously there's going to be scare actors in every single area but this one is definitely going to be really cool um it's this is a really cool area to do a scare zone in and it goes i believe all the way up to where jolly rancher remix is up here um and storm runner so yeah this will be a really cool area so it's it's actually a pretty big area to do a um scare zone because it's basically taking up about um, two areas of Hershey Park to be doing this uh, scare zone in. So definitely going to be really cool. Um, hopefully they still have all the rides including Trailblazer open. I don't know um, if they'll have Trailblazer open. There may not be too many young kids. They may close Hershey Park a little early and reopen it um so that they can get um a little young kids. i don't know i think it might be a little too scary for the younger audience but yeah it'll definitely be really cool to have this area in hershey park Also, if you saw my Hershey Park vlog, Jolly Rancher Remix still smells like maple syrup. So the next area of uh, scare zones is actually the Midway of Misery. Here are the three scare zones. We were just in Valley of Fear, and now we're in Midway of Misery. And then, of course, Dark Stones Hollow is going to be where Comet Hollow is, uh, where Comet and Skyrush are. 
But yeah, um, this is actually going to be a really cool area. There's supposed to be two haunted houses in this area, which will be the Twisted Darkness, which is going to be over in this area. I know everyone thought it was going to be in this building right here, but it looks actually, according to the map, it's going to be in this general area on the map. It doesn't really give an exact idea if anybody knows uh, what which one of these buildings it's gonna be. I don't know, this might be a cool one right here. Um, but yeah, over here by Lock Track, Lightning Racer, um, and then Wildcat. There's actually going to be another haunted house there called The Descent. Um, so yeah. Also, one more thing about uh, Midway of Misery from the description on Hershey Park's website, it looks like there's going to be flames bursting up in this area. Um, that's just going based off what the description was on their website. But yeah, I think that will be really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen fire like that at Hershey Park. So I, I think, yeah, I'm... I'm actually excited for this area it's gonna be like a really cool like abandoned carnival area i i, I think this might actually be the coolest of the three areas so apparently in this area by uh lap track uh, music express over here lightning racer and then the ferris wheel there's going to be a house here called the twisted darkness which is supposed to have some sort of fortune teller. I kind of think that kind of coincides with what's going on with Lap Track right here. So I think that's going to be really cool, having a haunted house. This area is actually going to have uh, two, like I said before. So yeah, this, this might be one of the most popular areas in Hershey Park once uh, uh, this place opens. But yeah, I think next we're going to go up and check that building I showed in my previous video uh, vlog on Hershey Park, which is the Descent House. So I know everyone has been nervous because Hershey Park has recently been theming some of their coasters to candy. I mean, this past season, we saw Sidewinder, which is originally themed to a snake in Pioneer frontier get transformed into Jolly Rancher Remix. So a lot of people were a little nervous and skeptical that Hershey Park may be theming um, some of their coasters to candy brands. But I think that this, uh, these uh, haunt mazes and scare zones prove that Hershey Park is wanting to stay true to the original themes of the different areas, that being Midway America, Comet Hollow, uh, Pioneer Frontier, and then uh, Kissing Tower Hill up by Great Bear. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually really happy that they're sticking with these themes. Um, yeah. So up here by Wildcat and Wild Mouse and Laugh Track, there's going to be the second of two scare mazes here in Midway, um, the Haunt Midway area of Hershey Park. This one is going to be called The Descent. And I showed this tent in one of my previous vlogs, uh, the one over here where the uh, original fun slides used to be. And this is going to be home to The Descent. And I guess it's this is goes with the teaser we saw in uh, one of the Hershey Park teasers with the witch going down into the basement. So this is going to be the one that uh, goes with that theme of going down into the basement to see what is lurking beneath Hershey Park. All right, so the final land is down here in Comet Hollow and it's going to be this area when Hershey Park in the dark opens is going to be called Dark Stone Hollow. And based off the description on hersheypark.com slash darker, it looks like we're going to be seeing some sort of creatures. 
Uh, I think that, like the setup is like there's this old like professor, Professor Darkstone, and yeah, this area is going to be having some more scare actors, just like we saw uh, in the first land. Um, so, and I think this area, I'm not sure exactly what building. It kind of based off the map. It looks like the fourth and final scare zone will be over here. I think it may be the aqua theater, the amphitheater right over there. But I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, there is a poster right over there where down here where Great Bear and Super Duper Looper is. But yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like this um haunted house or something or scare maze. Um, is going to be that uh, beast teaser that I originally thought was supposed to be a wildcat teaser. Um, that might have actually still been a wildcat teaser based off of what we saw. But yeah, apparently like this is going to be like his, he's going to unleash his creatures on you or something. So I do think it's really interesting. And hold on. And so this mage is going to be called Creature Chaos, it looks like, based off. Again, I'm not exactly sure exactly where it is, but the map does show it's going to be around this general vicinity. So, yeah, I do think that this is really cool. We'll go down there and take a look at it. So we're down here uh, where Great Bear is. I think that they might be reusing this um, amphitheater right here. This is not the aqua theater that you guys know uh, where they showed Sea Lion show. This is actually the other one. I don't think there's been a show in here in a very long time. As you can see, there's weeds and a couple squirrels hanging out in there. But I do think, um, yeah, as you can see, this. This looks very run down. So I do think that um, maybe it could be over here. Uh, there's a lot of space and this area has like a lot of potential. So uh, I do think it would be really cool if they kind of reuse this area, but uh, yeah, so. So once again, those are the four mazes and three scare zones that will be coming to Hershey Park for In the Dark. If you would like to buy some tickets right now, you can go to hersheypark.com slash dark nights and they should be available. I do believe they're like $20 for each uh, haunted house. And I do think they do start later in the day due to uh, Hershey Park being uh, very catered towards families and stuff. I don't know if they're gonna still do the trick-or-treating that they used to have, like, with all the, cause like, before all this, Hershey Park uh, in the dark used to be kind of more just general fall festivity. So I do think it's, they're trying to compete with uh, Six Flags Great Adventure uh, with Fright Fest and Dorney Park with Haunt. Um, so I do think that is, uh, really cool that they're finally starting to uh, appeal to more teenagers and older audiences like that. Can we also just appreciate Lightning Racer's new rainbow light package? Oh my god, this thing looks so freaking cool. Yeah, I'm loving this. I, I, I hope it looks like it still has the chaser lights. Um, but like they'll flash that rainbow color, which I guess when the coaster's going up the lift hill, it'll switch to that chaser light. But like when the coaster's not running, it also um, is lighting up rainbow. It never used to do that before. So I, I love that. <laughs> Someone let me know in the comments section when they change that. <laughs> So anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Again, Hershey Park in the dark. 
we'll start um, a little bit um, into September, halfway through September. Um, until then, um, I will be here to post weekly content from you from Hershey Park, Six Flags Fury Adventure, Knobles, and any other park in PA and New Jersey because that's what I'm here for. But anyway, if you like this, If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for more content from PA and J Thrills. Until then, I will see you all later. Bye bye, guys.